Today I'm listening to Nightwish, Yours is an Empty Hope, live. Keep watching. Hi everybody, I'm Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. This video is brought to you by my mini course, Permission to Suck, Bypassing Perfection, Embracing Potential. If failure has dogged you your whole entire life, this is the perfect course for you. You can get all the details in the description box below. This video was made by enthusiastic voice lovers just like you. Well, I'm working my way through Nightwish songs that I have not yet heard. And this is one of them. I just noticed that this was recorded on the Nightwish cruise. That sounds amazing. And I say yes to that. I would love to go on a cruise. I would love to go anywhere right now, pretty much. <laughs> I'm really ready to travel. And I know all of you are as well. Let's see where Nightwish takes us. Let's dig in. Imagine how much fun it would be to be on a cruise with Nightwish and I'm sure they're like on the boat there so you probably have opportunities to rub shoulders with them maybe multiple concerts of course cruising is so much fun because you can eat and drink and get off at beautiful ports and oh that just sounds like it would be such a good time oh my gosh I'm catching a vision I love this band. I love how they love one another. The chemistry they have together, they're obviously friends. We've talked about this many times before, but it's really cool. It's really cool when you like the people that you work with. It, it means a lot, I think, as a, as a musician who does this time and time again. You're working with top musicians in the world, but they're also truly nice people, and you actually want to go on a vacation with them. That says a lot. I love it when Marco sings with Floor. I know this is going to be a change in the personnel because Marco has left Nightwish, but I love his voice and I love their voices together. Wow. I can't remember if this is why you guys wanted me to watch this one or not. I, anyway, it's awesome. It's also fun to get back into Nightwish and watching Floor in her element in this band rather than all the many things she does on her own channel right now thanks to the pandemic. It's fun to hear her sing in a totally different tone quality kind of back in that Nightwish vein, of course. Floor is so incredibly versatile. And sometimes I'll have people say, why do you do so many Floor videos? It's because she is just so much fun to watch and amazing to listen to, and I just like her. And it's my channel. So there.
Okay, good. I know I'm stopping in just silly, silly places right now, but we'll go back and I'll try to play it on the deconstruction in a little bit better form. Literally, I'm listening to this for the very first time. It's so fun to see the audience just be so into this. They know every word on the front row and they are into it. And oh my goodness, this would be a much more up close and personal kind of experience than some of their other concerts where it's just thousands upon thousands of people. So how exciting for this group to be able to have done this. Were you on this cruise? If you were, leave a comment down below. It'll be fun once the cruise line industry gets back up and running to see this kind of thing happening again. It's kind of a bucket list trip, I would think. It definitely would be for me. things I enjoy about these Nightwish videos so much is Tuomas's composing and these instrumental interludes are so beautifully complete. My imagination is ignited by this music and I just am taken places. really getting interesting. Floor singing with this really atmospheric kind of tone quality. It almost sounds like whales crying or something. Even when the music had a key change, she went with that. Obviously, she's a master singer and she's just got so much happening in her voice on this one. I, I'm hearing a, a huskier, deeper tone as she's singing the verses and choruses and now this really interesting atmospheric sound. Really cool. Yeah! Incredible! I love it so much. Oh my word. Okay, could this be my new favorite Nightwish song? It's possible. I feel like this one has so much more energy and fire to it than some of the other ones I've listened to. Oh my word, this is amazing, incredible. It has everything happening and going for it. Wow. And did you notice Tuomas windmilling as he's playing the keyboard? I guess it's amazing when anybody does that as they're continuing to play their instrument, but for some reason, playing keyboard, standing up and doing that, that takes some skill. It really does, I would think. I'm no windmilling expert. Remember, I used to call it the twirly twirly thing, so yeah.
Amazing. Wow, there are a lot of people. They must have sold the entire ship. Okay, let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. Well, that has to be one of the worst uh, breaking up of a song I've ever done. <laughs> that truly was my first time to listen to it, if you didn't notice. Well, I think we heard maybe every kind of tone quality you could hear from Florianson. Did I even hear a growl in this song? reminds me of Sabaton. Is that weird of me to say that? I just feel like it's so energetic and forceful and constant. There's really no interlude that kind of lets everybody have a little bit of a break. It's just energy all the way through. They are obviously having so much fun together, and it is so heartwarming to see. Even though I know everybody feels so sad about Marco's departure, I know that they have already got somebody who's doing a great job filling in, and it's just going to all work out just great. I always feel the weightiness of the physical load that a concert like this would take on a musician. When you look at the amount of energy expended and the constancy of it over a two, two and a half hour period, you realize these people are in tremendous physical shape, but also mental shape as well. It's like they are elite athletes. more distortion in Floor's voice than some of the other Nightwish songs I've heard. And this is a little more what I think of when I think of what metal singers would sound like, which is why it's been so surprising, I guess you could say, to find out that symphonic metal has this beautiful operatic kind of singing happening while this whole other musical language is going on underneath it. Really, really cool to hear her singing in something with a little more distortion on it. Like I said, I think she really covers the gambit on vocal tone qualities in this one song. I'm remembering now that you guys wanted me to watch this one because Floor actually growls in this song and you can really hear it as she is growling along with Marco who's singing the melody line. I mean, that's just incredible, and that is definitely a tone quality I've not heard her do before, which is why you guys wanted me to watch this. It's just amazing. Then we come into this really interesting section where Floor is doing this atmospheric kind of singing that I just absolutely love, and I love the little bassoon line that gets us into this section. See if you can hear it.
there's so much going on in this one song for one vocalist to handle. Of course, she's got Marco there as well, who is doing a fantastic job. Love his voice. You guys know how I feel about him. It must be so thrilling to actually be in the audience for a Nightwish concert because they just give all of themselves and the process, their music is so complete. It's so well-rounded and so detailed, like even that little bassoon line. I'm going to play it for you right here because I really want you to hear it. Is it a bassoon? Is it an oboe? You let me know in the comments below. One of the most exciting performances from Nightwish that I think I've seen. I love the song, love the performances that I'm seeing today. Thank you so much for encouraging me to watch this one. I can't let you Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Nightwish. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at the Voice Love Company, and now on wiseo.com. Get all those details in the description box below. I am walking away from the video today feeling more respect for Floor Janssen, and that really shocks me because I already respected her a great deal. But she is truly one of the most versatile vocalists I have ever heard. She literally can do anything, and adding the growling to the list of vocal tone qualities she's able to do really, it's, it's just, I have no words. I know when I walk away from a performance like this and all I want to do is get into the practice room so I can be just that good, I know I've seen something really special. I'm so inspired and I hope you were as well. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting for what you and only you can bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye-bye. <laughs>